and two and one, one. What's going on everybody? Today we are learning about the medic class and basically what that looks like is going to our abilities and we're going to talk about the medical tree and what you should be taking if you are playing that role and since I've been playing this game I've always been the uh, sort of healer on the team I've been that that medic class and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty fun actually um, it's not like how other games are and you know being that healer on the team or something like that is pretty boring sometimes uh, but no this is actually pretty fun and uh, so I'm going to teach you guys about how to actually play this efficiently and yeah if you guys like the video then please let me know and subscribe if you want more content like this all right so let's get into it we can look at our skills and abilities skills and abilities mm -hmm. all right so if we go to our um, skills and abilities we're working with the medical tree uh, which is over here right now pulse used to be pretty good um, not that anything's changed with it but like uh, like at a low level Pulse was actually pretty good. It was pretty useful. It helped our team kind of figure out where people were back when we kind of didn't have any idea what the hell we were doing. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it was pretty good. It kept us out of a little bit of trouble. Uh, but you don't really need this, to be honest, at, like, higher level. Uh, you don't really need this, to be honest. Like, you, you guys should just be all right with um, figuring out where people are and... Or, or even I'd say if there's somebody else on your team, make them <laughs> have a pulse. You don't really need it. As the healer on the team, you should be focused on strictly on uh, on healing, <laughs> you know. And uh, pulse doesn't do anything that re requires or that revolves around healing, so there's no point in getting it. Um, if we move down to first aid, I really like first aid first aid uh, if we want to look at it um, the basis of first aid is that it heals all allies within a small radius the device can be used on location or launched to a distant target so I'll actually show you guys what all these skills and abilities and stuff like that what they do in, um, in the future but for now we're just going to cover the basics um, so yeah that, that's first aid um, you have your mods that you can add to the first aid. Uh, I actually have the defibrillator on my first aid, which allows the device to revive down allies and grant them a portion of their normal health. So in addition to being able to heal allies in a small radius, uh, and then I can throw it or, or put it in my location, I can also have this mod that allows me to revive down allies and give them a portion of the health back so I can actually throw that so if somebody on my team is actually down then I can throw this defibrillator uh, at them and it'll revive them without me even being over there to actually manually do it which is super beneficial in clutch situations um, honestly overdose and booster shot you really don't need um, overdose I would take over booster shot if you wanted to like choose between one of these two but honestly defibrillator is your best option uh, if we move over to master this is my master skill and um, it basically extends the duration of first aid I mean it, it's not anything special but it, it helps I guess um, moving over to support station which is my second skill uh, look at that Support station drops a support station <laughs> that heals allies and can be used to revive down allies. So it's basically kind of like this. Whereas uh, first aid is actually instant instant um, heal, whereas support station is it's a heal over time, uh, but it also revives down allies. Uh, and the mod that I have for this is actually life support, which drops a. Rev uh, drops a revival station that automatically revives so instead of 
it being like the normal, I guess, uh, cast time for reviving somebody manually, this one makes it automatic, which is really, really beneficial, again, in clutch situations. So, uh, first aid and support station are pretty, 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 pretty good. Um, life support being the best mod, in my opinion. Uh, these two, not really, like, I've messed around with these two before, and they're, like, mediocre. Uh, this gives you bonus damage, or does it? No, no, it gives you bonus ammo. Uh, you get to regain your ammo as you reload if you're in the vicinity of that um, support station, which is like whatever. Uh, this removes status effects. My team is pretty good at um, at dodging like grenades and, and other things like that. So I mean, if if you are playing with people who aren't that great at dodging those type of things, then maybe maybe go with this but I mean honestly life support is like your best option and the master for this is discharge when a device is disabled nearby allies receive immediate healing which is pretty good um, then last but not least I got my recovery link which is my signature skill it heals and cures the user and nearby allies revives down allies within range can overheal beyond maximum health so this is pretty good uh, actually, because I have this, is another reason why, if I go over to first aid, you actually don't want to get um, overdose because overdose kind of does the same thing. So it's probably best that you get defibrillator, and then just have recovery link to give you an overheal. So I mean, that's pretty much all of the abilities. Um, if I go over to talents real quick, um, I'll show you guys my talents. So for my four talents that I decided to pick because again we are medical um, we're not gonna go down any talent trees of security or tech we're gonna stay in the medical and honestly looking at the best of these some of these things are kinda of repetitive a little bit um, but uh, I like all of these so the first skill or the first talent that I got down the talent tree is uh, it, it heals an ally within a skill with a skill to reduce um, skill cooldowns by 15%. So basically, if I use any of the previous skills that I showed you guys already um, to heal an ally, it'll give me it'll reset the cooldown on that by 15%, which is pretty beneficial because uh, I have backup in order to heal again. Uh, battle buddy, revive a down agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players, which is really really good because there's a lot of times where uh some of us go down at the worst time and and being able to uh block some of that damage is actually pretty 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 helpful um shrapnel apply and bleed to a target eh, not really the best like uh, this these things are irrelevant i don't even know why this is in the medical uh tree to be honest but Anyway, what I have is a uh, critical save, use a med kit during low health to increase damage resistance by 40% for 10 seconds. This is kind of like the same as this, but uh, just different situation. This one is using a med kit. This one is uh, reviving someone, which, you know, so if you really think about it, you're getting that damage resistance, which is really, really helpful because then you're not taking as much damage which means you don't have to worry about healing yourself you can use everything for uh healing everybody else <laughs> which is you know your job and then we have the combat medic which um you use a med kit near allies to heal group members and anything within 20 meters by 40 percent so this is pretty good stay cool and uh um, I don't know why that guy bumped into me. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys uh, use a med kit, one of your med kits, then you're actually able to um, heal your group. If they're in the same, if they're in like the small vicinity of you, if you use your med kit on yourself, then it actually heals other people too. And I think that comes from like perks and stuff like that but um 
Well, no, it comes from the town, so I just read it. But uh, if you look at perks, it allows me to ha actually have five. So if you guys can see that, that healing uh, symbol, and I have five. I have five mech hits on me right now, which uh, you can get by having those perks. Mm -hmm. And the perks really don't really need to go down that. But as you can see, this first one right here increases mech hit inventory by one slot. And, um, like... These perks would really, really, really help. Uh, see, here's another increase in medic. So, they allow me to carry a whole bunch of med kits, which I can also use as a heal for other people, and then it's instant. And I'm actually going to show you guys um, some of my skills in the next video. I'm going to be, like, live. I think we may even go to the, um, the dark zone, and I'm going to show you guys how to use these skills and what they look like so hope you guys enjoyed the video and please 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 share it with anybody else who you think would enjoy it um but yeah the next video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to use your skills and when and where to do it um so that way you can play the medic class effectively thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.